hello and welcome today i want to show you how you can do calculations in ms access and get a result just like in ms word where you can put an equal sign in a cell and you calculate two or more values from a certain cells likewise in access you can do the same the point to note is in access when you are doing that you must do it in a query so what we are saying is calculations in ms access are done in a query another point to note is when you are doing calculations instead of using an equal sign the way you normally use in ms excel here you use a colon to start calculation so we can say a colon which is uh, written, written like that represents an equal sign An another point if you want to calculate two columns and the names of those columns in access have spaces eh? for example if if i want to calculate if i want to calculate total amount by maybe 10 percent this total amount column has a space in that case i will put square brackets like this and like that and if you don't want to use these square brackets then you should rename your columns in your table in your access table so that they don't have spaces for example uh, i can change my column and remove the space so that i just call it total amount as one word or i can use an underscore like this to name a column in this way when you are using the column in calculation you will not be required to put this square square brackets So I will go ahead and show you some sample data. Then we will be able to do calculation. I will start uh, my database. It is a hardware store database. I will open it. After opening the database, you can see there is a table here, invoice. I will go ahead and open it. And you can see it has a list of information about invoices of customers i will now multiply this quantity column by unit column and in order to do that calculation i cannot do th it in this table i will have to create a query from this table and to create a query you just come to create query design here then I will add my invoice now after adding my invoice to the query design I will come and close my invoice table I will expand this so that I can see everything So I don't want phone number and contact person, but I want all the other columns. So I double click them like that. Now I can run the query so that you can see it. To run the query, you just come here to the query tool. You click, then you will see this run query. Now after running the query, 
I will I will be able to see the data with the columns I chose in the query design. So the next thing I want to do is to save this query. I will just come here and click save and let me just call it invoice invoices query. The next thing I want to calculate this column and this column so that I get a result which I will which will have the title amount. So amount is calculated by taking quantity multiplied by unit price. I will switch to design view. Then down here in this empty column I will right click this and choose zoom. And in this zoom box, I will now apply the rule. First, I will name this column amount. So you start with the name of the column. Next, instead of putting equal sign, you just put colon. Putting colon means you want to start calculation. And the result will be stored in this amount column. So I want to pick this quantity column. You just type the name of the column without making any spelling mistakes. If you make a spelling mistake, it will give an error. Then I'm going to use a star. Star is a symbol for multiplication. And I'm going to you to write the name of the next column, which is unit underscore price. And I'm going to click OK. Now you can see I have a new column here. When I come here and run my query, you, you see the new column with the calculated amount appears. And I'm going to save the changes. The last thing I want to do, I want to make a report from this query now. To make a report, I will just come to the Create tab and I click this report. And this only happens when this query is open in this window. If you close it, it will not happen. So you open the query, then click report window. Now you can see the new report is generated. We just resize these columns. You click a column and resize so that they fit in your, in your paper. And the report, like that, like that. Then the next thing I want to do is to give this report a good title. So I can call it list of invoices. Then the next thing I want to decorate this title. So I just click this title, come to my home tab and click the red color and I bolden it. Then I want the title of this um, query, I want to remove this underscore from the titles of these columns. Just de remove. Remove. Even for the item boot, remove the underscore. And for the unit price, I will also remove the underscore. Like that. Now I will color this title's blue color. You can choose here. Click color, click title, color like that, color like that, like that, like that, like that. The last thing I want to do now, I want a total of this, a total amounts for each invoice i want total of all invoices down here in this column at the bottom of this column so i will click this column come and click report layout tools and under this icon the one for calculations you just click the down arrow and choose sum then click your total now and pull down this box and resize it i will go to home and bolden my title and I can give it uh, a different color 
let me give it a, a brown color a brown color like that so now i have a good report prepared in ms access with the calculations in it thanks a lot for attending the lesson see you next time bye bye